Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Garden Home Garden. I've got two plants here in front of me that I grow all the time. But there are some things that are important to know about these two plants. One is lemon balm, the other is mint, and this particular variety is a chocolate mint. So there's a few things that you need to know in order to grow these successfully and without them actually taking over your garden because both of these have that capability. Both of these plants are members of the mint family and the way you can tell that is if you look at the stems, they're kind of square. Let's see if you can get in there. You can see how it's kind of flat on this side and it's flat on that side as well. That is an indicator that it's a member of the mint family and you'll notice over here the mint itself is done exactly the same way. They've got these square stems. So that's one sure sign of it being a part of the mint family. Both of these plants are highly useful herbs to have in the garden. A lemon balm is great for repelling insects. Things like mosquitoes don't really love it. In fact, many, many times I've taken just some leaves of the uh, lemon balm here, rubbed it against my skin to help prevent the mosquitoes from eating me while I'm out in the garden doing things. So it's a very useful plant for that. Plus you can use it in your teas, you can use it in your cooking. There's all kinds of great uses for lemon balm. Now, the thing with lemon balm that I have found is that it can spread quite a bit when it goes to flower. So after it's gone to flower, it will go to seed. And those seeds germinate almost all the time. They germinate so well that this plant can become quite invasive. Fortunately though, lemon balm is very easy to pull out of the garden. You can just rip it right out of the ground and weed it out and it's not that big of a deal. So you can plant it as a companion plant in the vegetable garden or just put it as a plant in your herb garden if you want to. But probably one of the best ways to grow it is here in a pot like I've got it now. So if you're concerned about lemon balm spreading, after it's flowered, just come back, cut your plant in half, and then it won't actually go to seed. Problem solved. On the other hand, if you would like to make a lot more lemon balm, there are several ways you can propagate it. Obviously one we just talked about, it can grow from seed. So you can collect the seed and plant them out, and that'll grow very well. Now the other thing you can do is you can take a cutting. And I'm just going to take a piece like this, and what I would do is I would strip all the leaves off except for the top couple here, and there's two places it can go. It can go into a jar of water, in which case it will root. A lot of people love doing water cuttings. Uh, or you could just stick it right in soil, and it should root. What you want to do is take a cutting that comes from a node. So I would cut this little piece off here if I can. Anyway, I can't do it with my hand. So you would trim everything off and make it look just about like this right here. You notice at the very bottom I've got a node and then I've got a couple of leaves at the top. This I can stick in my water jar or stick it directly in a pot of soil and it will root. These root very, very, very easily. So they're really good if you're a beginner just trying to do some rooting. Another way to propagate these is just to get a low branch that has started to form roots. And I'm looking to see if I have one here, which I probably don't. But you can actually take these and just rip them off of the plant. Let's see if I can do that right like this. And check that out right there. We got a little bit of roots. So I can take that little cutting right there and put it into a pot of soil or some water and let the roots continue to grow. Most members of the mint family are extremely easy to propagate and shouldn't be of any, any trouble there. You can do them in water, you can do them in soil. And the same is true with the chocolate mint that I've got over here. Now chocolate mint likes to spread through these little rhizomes across the soil. And if we can look right down here, you can see how it's going under the ground. And then each of these has got a bunch of little teeny tiny roots underneath them. See how it's kind of shooting off another shoot there from that root system. So all you got to do in order to propagate those is really just stick it in dirt and keep it wet. Very easy to propagate that. Now if you want to do it from cuttings, you can do that too. All you need is a piece about like this and you do the exact same thing as we just did with the lemon balm cutting. Trim off the leaves so you just leave a couple at the top and you can use those leaves in your tea, your sweet tea, which is delicious with a little bit of chocolate mint. And so here's the cutting, just like that. Plop it in a little jar of water, plop it in some soil, keep it moist and wet until it's rooted and it will do fine. These root extremely easy. Now because it roots so well from its stolons, it will go 
and spread all over your garden if you've got it out in the vegetable garden. That's why you will continually hear gardeners say the best place for mint is to keep it in a pot. I have some experience with that, in which case this got planted in our other vegetable garden, our other garden, and it just kind of spread all over the place. So to some extent, it's not that big of a deal because it's you know, really easy to just rip up, but it's always going to be there. It is almost impossible to get rid of. But maybe you don't want to get rid of it. Maybe you just love that there, and then maybe when you mow over it, you get this nice, fresh smell of mint everywhere, which is, can be kind of neat. There are lots of different mints out there. There's apple mints, there's spearmints, all kinds of mints that have very different fragrances. And so you can have quite a neat collection of mint to make uh, your kind of mint tea, whatever you like. So both of these plants do have a tendency to spread, so you need to be careful with your planting of them. Make sure that you're deadheading them at the right times and you're not letting them kind of get away uh, because they can take over an area. But anyway, I hope this was interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.